Okay, so we've had a little look, right, safety note, put the car up on axle stands because obviously the air suspension is what is holding the car off the ground. Um, if that goes down, it will just completely slam to the ground. Right, so we've coloured in the bolts. We've got one there, one in the middle, one in the middle. There, and then where's that back one? Have you ever on that back? Oh, yeah, he's tucked around the corner there. Oh, there he is, you can see him orange there. So we've loosened those. Shall I, do you want to hold the camera in? I'll just whip. Ian's done all the hard work and got muddy. I'll just a little, a little 10 millimeter ratchet spanner on those, have we? Oh, all right, let me. Right, so that's, and they're all the same, and they like a little. That's it, and then back. Get that back one. Under it, there he is. He should be finger tight, yeah. Right. <laughs> There we go, so we've got those three out, put those out of the way. So then we're gonna try and wrestle this off. We've worked out how to do this. So oh, there's these little clips that sort of, you've got to resist like, yeah. One front, one oh, yeah. middle, one, one back, back. Yeah. Oh, a bit of a twist. Oh, I've got 10 years, is there one right at the end there anyway? Got that. Right, and there you go, so let's, Let's just have a little look at that. So, four. so oh, there's four. Sorry, four, four clips. Yeah. One at the very front, one just at the side. One is nice and easy to there, and then one right on the back. So this has obviously got some rubbery sound insulation stuff and years worth of dirt. And then, can we have a look under there, or shall I get the? Shall I get the old torch? Let's have a look what's going on under there. So we should have a compression. We've got a new one up here, haven't we? So. Let's have a look what it looks like. <laughs> so, there you go. So it's not very glamorous. You've got this fairly tired old compressor looking here. Moist nest. Corroded bit. So our next job is to disconnect all of this and, and have a look how to fit a new one. Let's have a look. Let's jump up and have a look at the shiny one, shall we? So there we go. Apparently these are made by Itachi. Uh, let's have a look what we got. What they call this? My son watches unboxing videos. Okay, so that's what we got there. Let's go under the light over there a bit. So we got a, we got the two big electrical connectors. I just saw those under there. So it looks like we're going to have to disconnect those. Um, I think that's where you've got a motor drives a little piston that drives a. And I think this is the air dryer which is full of desiccant and that is actually what can block sometimes but I think once you that one's how old's that car how's our car now uh, 2005 Four. and it's yeah so he's 11 years old so I think he's had 11 years of service it's probably worth changing it so we're gonna have an investigate and see what we've got to do to swap this one over okay so the well, first thing we're gonna do is and we've just worked out is we're gonna do the electrical connectors so this one looks fairly easy and we're going to push that in there okay and then pull that out so yeah we're pushing this bit in releases that okay tuck that out of the way looks a lot like the rear light connector rear lights, yeah, you change just, the rear lights uh, um, this one here he's on a little anti wobbly thing anti so we're going to slide the whole bit that way and that releases it which makes it a bit easier so you've got this little static a docking station we'll call it on there and then we've got a button here. in fact you can press this this bit right next to it and then separate him he looks like the main power judging by the size of those bad boys so we've got those out of the way so we can tuck those out of the way and this reveals the back end of our compressor and we've got the red and the blue now the red one is integral to the compressor assembly so we don't need to disconnect that it's this blue one we need to connect now don't start pulling on the pipe first thing you want to do. Um, first thing you want to do is actually push the pipe in and push this little plastic bezel into the compressor. Right, and then hold the blue bit in and then pull the... There you go, that comes out. There's a little bit of a puff there um, as it comes out. Apparently these can leak. So can you see there you've got the end, you've got the parallel bit there and that. And so that's disconnected. And you'll notice the car hasn't shot down. There's a one-way valve in here. So we're all still as we were. We haven't done anything. So I think that's all the 
connections. Do you reckon that's all the connections? Uh, for this end, yeah. yeah. We've got the main air feed, main airlines the other end. So we've now got to work out how to mechanically get this rusty old piece of thing out the back of here. So we're now at the rear of the, and there's two bigger diameter pipes that go into these brass fittings, not these plastic ones. And we haven't done a load of WD-40, we haven't done a load of stuff, but basically I've tried pushing them in and pulling them and giving the little thing a, and, and I can't get them out. And reading the internet, that seems to be the problem. So we're going to cut the pipe. Now we don't think there's any pressure in these, I can squidge them. We haven't drained the system, so we're going to see what happens here. Um, right, there we go. So we're just going to, we've got a little, um, so we want to cut it fairly close. But <laughs> All right. no air yet. Well, looking good. Okay, so there's that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some connectors. We'll actually probably put them for sale on a website. We got a friendly pneumatics man, and we'll actually just reconnect it using the push fit connectors, much like the ones on the front. All right, that's one. Well, that's one. All right, let's have a go at that second top one up there, shall we? I ain't got much travel on it. Let's have a go. Is this a particularly rubbish video? I mean, other than my, I other can't than see the top pipe. We can see the bottom one though. Oh. Oh, fruit. There's no air yet. Right then. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look. So then, if so your push fittings work, then you'll have no air leak or anything from them. Yeah, so there we go. So we're all we're all good. Yeah, if you so if you can get the push fittings to come undone, if you're not going to be the heinous bodger that I am. Um, so there we go. We've got those two off. So now we're down to mechanically unbolting it, aren't we? So we'll have a look okay, at that. So now. we've got three bolts holding this on. Allegedly, this one's easy. We got another one on the bottom, sort of inside the fold of this. It seems like a sort of L-shaped bracket here, and apparently there's one at the top. So let's have a go on the this one here first. Oh, he's going. We haven't loosened that. We haven't done a blue Peter on that one, have we? There's one we prepared earlier. There we go. Let's have a look. I probably can't see what I'm doing there. Three, four, that one we can. There's a flange dead. Oh, he's got... Okay. Oh, cool. Right, so there we go. So that's what we got on that. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. He's starting to get... Oh, something was looking loose. No, he's still... Right, let's see if I can get in under this one here. That's probably ain't going to be the best bit of video, is it? Oh, my giddy aunt. They put it right in the corner of that one. I think I'm going to have to unclip this. Unclip this little electrical connector here. He looks like he's... He's clipped on from the back. Let's have a... Let's have a... Oh! Have a look. Oh, yeah, if I squidge him at the back here, I reckon him. Can you give him a pull? Is he going? Nope. Oh. Charlie Mouse. There we go. Right. Mm. So let's see if that's giving me a bit more... Well, I've forgotten where I'm going now. Ah, we'll get, a, we'll get a socket in through there, won't we? Right, let's get a socket in through there. Okay. Right, we've got Ian working now. Um, so we've just got a long reach socket to get in through that. If you unclip that cable, the electrical cable, it gives you a nice little access in, in through there. Let's have a look. There we go. Is he unscrewing as well? Yeah, it seems to be. Well, that looks good. How's that really ugly looking spider? You've seen him under there yet? Nope. You like Gladly. spiders? You like spiders, Ian? What? Not overly keen on them. He's got a little sack on the back there, isn't it? I'll have a little look. See, let's have a look see if we can see that spider. Where's he gone? Oh, he's under here. Really. Look, he's in that corner there. Let's do a bit of wildlife photography. Oh. Can anyone see? Someone can write in and tell us what that spider is there. Look. There he is. I don't know what he is, but he looks. Anyway, he's, uh, he's asleep, so he ain't gonna hurt her. Right then, what are we oh, doing next? Same. Right, okay, two the same. Right, so somewhere at the top of that L-shaped bracket that's nicely illuminated there, there is a nut. We're going to go and look for that. I guess he's another 10 mil. Yeah. So we're struggling to see the top bolt, so we're going to try and loosen 
the bottom rubber mount that's holding the compressor into the bracket to see if that allows that. You can see the compressor wobbling about relative to the bracket there and it's on much like a radiator and exhaust. You've got a little rubber mount there. So we're trying to undo that bottom mount because it's got to come off anyway because we, we don't get a new bracket so we're going to have to reuse these. We didn't get new mounts, did we? They ought to supply you new mounts, didn't they? With the... Go on, go on. Is it just flexible? It goes into a captive nut on the top, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a threaded bracket. But they put a poxy little four mil Allen. But I think that, do you think that washer was was ever separate? Can you not just spin it with your fingers? It's not happening. No, it's, that washer is now. Oh, loose. it's now, okay. We, we really wanted that washer to be rusted to the nut. No, okay. We've all, we got some movement. We hammered the little Allen key fitting in. And he's, he's, he's now having a, I still don't, that's got to come off some way. He's moving a bit, is he? Got to be near the out. Uh, yeah. Let's get him trying. What rubbish fitting to use on that. Anyway. We might put another back in. Put the hex head. Oh yeah, put a hex head back in. I can't see why you wouldn't use a hex head there. But not the way. Oh, no. oh, no, he's spinning now. Right, I think we'll, what we'll do, let's hacksaw a slot in the end of him and use a flathead screwdriver on it. Okay, so we've managed to get the mole grips on it. We have also hacksawed a slot in the top. Um, but there we go, let's have a look at that. So yeah, looks like we need a new bolt to go back in there. Um, so that does that give us any more movement now? Can we pop that rubber off? Or does that give us any more movement to get that top nut? It's all getting loose. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've taken this bottom fixing out. You can then take that rubber out, and that gives you a lot more movement on the compressor now. You can see that. And then it, it sits on this peg at the back. So if I lever this peg out, if I get my screwdriver out of the way, shine the light there, you can see that rusty peg there sits on, and you can get that out. Right, and now what that enables us to do is there's not a lot of extra room, but it enables us to get at least a glimpse on that nut right at the top there. So what we'll have to do now is get the spanner on that and have a go at undoing that. Yeah, do you want to go at yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think it's worth just, you've got to take the, that compressor off the bracket anyway, so you might as well do what you can there and give yourself the extra room. And what do you want the hammer? Oh, he's going. No. No? Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, we got yeah. it. Oh, this is exciting. Good. Oh, I'm gonna have to finish this on Monday. Yeah. You're an oldie man. I've a day off this week. Is that one longer than all the others because it's the most awkward one. Probably. <laughs> It's gone loose now. It's gone loose, it's gone in. But... Not all the way out. Right. We'll, let give any, we'll give you any movement. Oh, he's starting to move, look. Oh, he's nearly there. Right. We'll go and get that... We'll just undo that last bolt fully, but you can start to see he's coming away there. Mm -hmm. right. Yep. Okay, so we've undone the last bolt and we're just going to lower it all down. Oh, it looks like it's all coming out together. We all, that case coming out. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's have a look what we've got here. Ugh. How long's that taken us? That's not too bad, is it? What time is it now? It's about half an hour we've been doing this. Um, we're not, we haven't got a ramp or anything flash here. So there's our sound deadening cover. And there's there's that last bolt. So they were all the same, those bolts. They did, they hadn't tricked us and put a longer one in. 
there's the three bolts. Um, so now what we've got to do is disconnect this bracket from that top bit there. Oh, sorry, that's the little, yeah, that's that rear hook mount um, that just sits on that peg at the back. But yeah, I think that was just worth getting. And where's that top? So yeah, so so you can see, see on the back side of the, the bracket, you've got the, the that one was the, hold on, that was the easy one. That was the one that was a little bit easier. And then that's the one that's a little bit harder up there. But with the extra movement from loosening the compressor, that's good. So we'll just disconnect this and then we'll have a look what we've got. Okay. So this one, where he's at the top, I think he's a little more, oh look, yeah, <laughs> certainly less weathered than that other one we had out. I can't see that other one now. Um, oh, he's stuck on there. Right, so that's that. That's the other rubber mount. Oh, there you go. There's the, there's the two of those, and there should be another washer. Um, that's the other washer there. And then that's the bracket assembly. We will give that a bit of a clean, really. Um, not that it does a lot. Um, and there is that. Now, let's just have a quick look underneath it, because we did read on the internet that the clips where those three bolts that hold the bracket go into the... Ah, yeah, so you can see that these are the clips that hold these on. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That one's broken. That one's broken. Sure. So we need to get some more of these clips. Let's have a look at the other one. See what they should be look like. Let's see if we can get... Oh. No, that, no, one's, that broken. one's broken. Uh, this one at the top, I reckon we'll get him out, because he doesn't see the weather, does he? Oh, in fact, he's a little... He's, uh, he didn't feel much better taking it out. Yeah. Oh, you got to just... Because there's normally a little lip on them, isn't there? Oh, there you go. Oh, he's coming. I reckon I got him. Let's have a... So, yeah, when you do this job, it looks like you want three new clips, which I think we read about. Right, right. Okay, so that is what the clip should look like which forms your captive nut on the chassis um so yeah you want to get three new ones of those because as you saw those other ones just broke where's those yeah so that is the, is the front they just rust on the edge there and probably with the force of undoing them um there we go so we need to get some new fittings before we put all this back on um and then we'll have a look